We are going to have buses that will take people back to 79th. And a rallying call to stop the violence in Chicago. Protesters will take a stand by shutting down the Dan Ryan. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. I'm Rob Johnson. Moved to shut down the Dan Ryan Expressway in protest of violence. Just got Mayor Rahm Emanuel's endorsement. Father Michael Flager plans to lead more than a thousand people down the busy expressway tomorrow morning. Dorothy Tucker has more on the preparations and plans to keep the protesters safe. And what's your phone number? The preparations for tomorrow's protest include signing up demonstrators. Okay, we're asking everybody to be here by 9 a.m. Eager marchers came to St. Sabinas, sent emails, called, God bless you, Saint Sabina. or stopped Father Mike Flager on the street. 9.45 at the expressway. Busloads of people from across the Chicagoland area are expected to meet at 79th and the Dan Ryan, then walk down the ramp onto the highway. When you enter that expressway, how do you keep people from getting hit? Well, I'm hoping and praying and believing that they have enough sense tomorrow that when they see that we're serious on this and we're not stopping, we're coming down, that they will shut it down. They are the state police who have been pleading with Flager all week not to walk in the expressway. Today, officials declined to comment on the pastor's refusal to listen. And if the state police don't shut it down, then what's the alternative? We have people ready to do it with vans or with um, trucks. Um, and with cars. With plans to march on, the city's mayor won't stop him. Let me say this, they should be allowed, yes, because they're going to be talking about anti-violence. Youth who will be leading the anti-violence rally put the finishing touches on the signs that highlight their demands. We need resources, we need funding, as well as we need other initiatives. I would like to see the governor and the mayor come together and create an office for economic development whose sole purpose is to bring in new companies, new businesses into the south and west side. Father Flager says his intention is to conduct a peaceful march. However, in case there are any arrests, lawyers will be standing by. More than 80 have volunteered to act as observers. Robin Erica. So he really expects them to shut it down because that really is unsafe if they don't and people are walking along the Dan Ryan. Yeah, I, I think he is probably keeping his fingers crossed. And I think when you get an indication from the mayor that it is okay, mm -hmm. uh, the state police are probably going to fall in line and shut that highway down. So there's your warning. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dorothy.